Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label. We read the entire label, take a look at the artwork, see what they're trying to sell us, open it up and see if it meets expectations. I've been thinking about uh, rating beers now, maybe on a scale of one to 10. If you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, a few things first. <clears throat> we always serve our beers at the correct temperature. Uh, lagers would be 37 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I always use a uh, classic uh, Thermoworks uh, thermometer to test all of our beers. There is a link in the description box below if you are interested. Also, all of our beers are sampled in the same glassware. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, most folks will do a tasting. They'll take a look. They will sniff, they will sip, and they will pontificate. I'll pontificate, don't you worry about that. But I'm gonna sip before I sniff. Why? Wine expert Fred Dax will explain it all to you. He does a lot better than I can. All right, well, let's see what we have here today. Wow, this is a brand new and I haven't, oh, I haven't had this one in ages. All right, what do we got? We got Bud Light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, in fact, it's a big Bud Light. It says, always brewed using the choicest hops, best barley malt, and rice. Uh, it's got an easy to scan, easy to enjoy, uh, 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 electronic uh, identification thing there, or whatever they call it. This is Bud Light. It says four, uh, something 402023 ME. It's a metal can. It's enjoy responsibly. It says tap into your beer.com per 12 ounce. Uh, Fluid average analysis, calories 110, carbohydrates 6.6, .6, proteins 1 gram, fat no grams, 25 fluid ounces, 1.9 fluid ounces, 4.2% alcohol by volume. It is beer. Uh, questions and comments? 1-800-DIAL-800 Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. And it says freshest before date. Ta tap into your can. Uh, see the bottom of your can. Uh, the can. Uh, 24 August 24. Or 21 August 24. And this is May of 2024, so uh, it's got some time. So what am I looking forward to here? <laughs> what, what am I looking forward to? What am I expecting? Uh, I'm expecting... Um, I'm expecting malt soda with a little, I'm expecting alcoholic, I'm, I'm expecting alcoholic soda that is kind of yellow and fizzy. Okay, let's crack it open. See if it meets those expectations. Well, I actually, you know, something that looks a little bit darker than I was expecting. Okay, well, okay, well, bada boom. It looks, it looks the part, that's for damn sure. Look at the size of the bubbles. That's, if that's, that, that's not, <clears throat> that's not natural, no. Ain't nothing natural about that, folks. Okay, what do we got? It's a little, a little chilly. It's 47 degrees, but <clears throat> nothing ever hurt an ice cold bud, right? <clears throat> oh no, Bud Light. All right, well, it looks like a Bud Light. It's got the right temperature for a Bud Light. Let's see if it tastes like a Bud Light. Cheers.
you see, I, t I take two sips because it's just before two o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday and my taste buds have taken an early siesta and so they need to be woke. Let me tell let, let, I better have another sip. They're still asleep. They're still asleep. Well, let's see if their olfactory friends have something to say. Whoa! There is a little bit of clover in that. <coughs> I'm getting a little bit of, of herbal aroma. What the? Well, that's a, that's a surprise. That's a, well, let's see what the taste buds agree. They're still sleeping. Whoop, no, there they go. Somebody tapped somebody on the shoulder. Nope. They just had to get up to go to the bathroom. Well, <coughs> well, uh, does Bud Light uh, meet expectations? <laughs> well, the bar was set so low, uh, it didn't even make expectations, but hey, what the heck, poor little guy tried. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great. A comment would also be appreciated. And any thoughts you have and any questions you might have, please put them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.